Octopuses by Sandra Markle. When the female giant Pacific octopus is about three years old, she mates and lays her eggs, nearly 100,000 of them. The eggs are no bigger than rice grains. The female lays them stuck together in long clusters. Then she uses her tentacles to attach these clusters to the ceilings and walls of her nursery den. From then on, she never leaves her developing young. She stays on guard, prepared to attack any fish, eel, or crab that tries to sneak into the den and eat her eggs. She cares for her brood by blowing oxygen-rich water from her funnel onto the eggs. Oxygen in the water passes through the soft egg cases to the developing young inside. They need oxygen to live and grow. The female also often strokes the egg clusters. She uses her suckers to clean away any bacteria or algae that might be growing on them. The baby giant Pacific octopus develop for nearly six months. They live on the yolk, that's the stored food supply, inside their eggs. When the babies are ready to hatch, their mother blows forcefully on the eggs and bumps them roughly with her tentacles. This helps break open the egg cases. Without any help, the babies immediately jet through the water, swimming up towards the surface of the ocean. Along the way, fish, squid, and jellyfish eat many of them. The babies that survive float among the plankton, tiny microscopic animals that live near the surface of the water. The plankton layer is also a nursery for baby crabs, jellyfish, and other sea animals. The baby octopuses eat anything they can catch and overpower, and they try to be, avoid being caught and eaten by other predators. The mother giant octopus hasn't eaten during all the months that she's been guarding and caring for her developing babies. After her brood has left the den, the mother crawls out and soon dies. Sea sunflower sea stars discover her body and bit by bit, the sea stars eat most of the dead octopus. Crabs finish off the scraps they leave. These animals are scavengers, part of the ocean floor's cleanup crew. In a few weeks, the baby octopuses are about as big as the thumb of an adult human. Then they return to the seafloor. Predators like this cor cup coral catch and eat many of the young octopuses, but those that become experts at using their natural hidden's escape abilities will survive. The young octopuses that survive also develop their ability to stalk and catch small crabs and other prey. Sometimes they eat dead animals like this dogfish shark. All kinds of food energy help the young octopuses grow into their full giant size. Most mother octopuses care for their eggs and dens. Some, such as the glass octopus and this blue ringed octopus, carry their eggs along with them. All mother octopuses watch over their eggs and try to protect the developing young from predators until the young hatch. Then another generation of octopuses will enjoy the cycle of life, a constant struggle to survive between predator and prey. Thanks for joining us today.